gentlemen, freaks and geeks of all ages, welcome to the Savage Nation. This is the Crimson Savage, and today, today, we're going to do something different. We're going to play Vanilla Plus. Now, it is another private server. And it seems to be okay with uh, Vanilla done a few things different, similar to Turtle Wow, if you're familiar with that. But we're going to jump into it and see what's up so just a few minutes and jump right into it let me see Alright, it seems to have like the traditional World of Warcraft uh, add-ons and things of that nature. God, I forgot the ratio of my... Just doing something a little different. Okay, this is weird, but... Evidently, it doesn't like me messing with the aspect ratio. But I'll do a direct game capture. Stop playing around. registered so only thing that I need to do make the adjustments I didn't think that this would happen and it's the first time that I am playing this game so you gotta excuse me <laughs> Put that shit on. Or at least way down. like almost obnoxious. Good day to you. Have a good one. Interface options.
Did I miss it? Isn't there an auto loop? Auto self cast. Tool tips I allow. Maybe I'm a dummy and I can't freaking read or whatever. But I don't see the auto loop. Which probably is going to bug me for like 30 minutes. But. Eh. Eh. What Let's get this party started. See you around. Park out my phone. That's weird. Doesn't <laughs> have any text options either, so I guess they did that on purpose. See you later. Now, traditionally, I like the warlock. It has been one of my favorite archetypes for a long time, and World of Be War is close to getting that archetype damn near perfect. But Hello. There are some caveats to that. Safe travel. A lot of people don't really have the... How are you? Experience that I'm looking for to break the game in. See you around. See how good you can really uh, can really be. Now, it's not a big deal. Because not everybody can love love to be a super saiyan, so to speak. So I can understand that you're like Joe Smuckatelli and this imaginary world. <laughs> but 
but I still would like some real power. And apparently mana is a very important in this game. Where you will run into problems. So that's good to see. That's really good to see. You got severely limited amount of uh, cast or mana when it comes to uh, fighting creatures. So it might literally limit some of your capabilities out the gate. That's very good. That I like that. You got to think about using your ability. So that's a good, that's a good freaking gameplay mechanic. It gets you thinking, gets you thinking ahead about, all right, can I really use this? Oh man, I'm going to be crippled. So resources are important. And it encourages you to take your time and plan out your next move because you might not have that mana. So I am really, really happy about that. Okay, but admittedly, here's the one thing that I am kind of concerned about. Obviously, it's a vanilla type server, but um, and they follow the cl and the class. The class things up to a certain point. Let me see. I don't want to turn. I want to strafe. Strafe is going to be. Strafe up is going to be A. Strafe right is going to be B. Hit OK. Alright, that's better. You need something? Alright, good. They got armor proficiency, so they... See you later. So they're freaking honoring uh, that part of the class. I buy and trade. Like the basic stuff that, cl that the class is known for. Let's go to skills. Ooh, you got skills. Oh, this is, this is good, this is good. So that means I need to go to a uh, weapons master and learn how to use steves because I can use daggers, wands. Steves and short swords should be on here. What can I do for you? Because warlocks can use magical swords and all that. Have a good one. That's 
That's very good. That's very good. It reminds me of vanilla all the way through. Now, they got this buff here that says Iron Man never known defeat. And you can be defeated. But here's the thing. Damage and healing done is up by 5%. Damage taken is reduced by 5%. So it's a pretty Hello. doggone good buff. Only bad thing that I can think about this whole thing is there are going to be people freaking hunting you down with the Iron Man's Resolve. And... Safe uh, travels. Taking that something. buff from you by any means necessary. So, can I help you? Oh man, can't get that right now. All right, corruption. Instant cast baseline. That's good. The other one had the cast time. I remember that. 25 health for 25 mana. Level 6? What? Yeah, level 6. Level 6. Have a good so one. So we learned that. Well met. Farewell. Hey there. Interface options, and I believe it's locking. Lock action bars. Okay. Still need to freaking manipulate my action bars and separate things. Cobalt cleanup. Stolen tone. Alright, we're going to do the cobalt cleanup. That's going to be easy enough. Ah! One of the things that you want to do is get this uh, freaking information. So let me see, interface, there got to be a buff duration here, or debuff duration here. Buff durations. It doesn't say anything about debuffs. Works, it works if it doesn't. Oh well.
again, the money game is exactly what I expected it to be, to be honest, for a Philotype server. So, since it's hard to combine the freaking... Everything that you gain from here is going to be worth it, if that makes sense to you. Because it's harder to combine and makes it more valuable. Seems like there's no more freaking games for stabbing people to my next level. So we're just gonna speed up the process just a little bit, but all no! It's a good experience. It has all the same uh, hallmarks of vanilla. Uh, it has the imp quest where you get your first demon attack. There's um, the regeneration that you need to pay attention to for your, for your mana and other resources. So that's, that's pretty good. It encourages you to think with the scarcity of resources. Instead of freaking turn on the faucet and machine gun everything out, you're thinking about the things that you're using that affects your performance. So, I never thought I'd, I'd not be thinking about things like that as far as like a video game is concerned, but it really, really plays into like uh, not being able to shoot like 50 million fireballs in, a, you know, in one single city. And the level are the level gain is fast enough in the beginning to keep your interest but it's but it feels like it's starting to space out more and more so it's like gradually increasing which is good what can I do people, for you? Uh, keeping people's attention on uh, Light bless you. What's going right. on? For the alliance. Go with honor, friend. you to read it. I don't really like it, but be careful. Hey there. That's just one thing for me. See you around. I'm used to like collecting the uh, collecting requests and reading it later and relying on memory for most of it. Um, let's see. That's not what I wanted. Golden Tone. I've got a feeling I'm missing my like, quest. Uh. 
I supply only the finest goods. Oh well. What you want to do is freaking finish what you started here. The damage is very proportionate. If these guys damage was a little bit higher, they would pose a danger. Like a real danger, not just like, oh no, I don't think I should do this. So, like, you can tell that they got the kid gloves on for, for these mobs. Essentially, it still feels like a starter zone, but what they should have done was put, like, the red shirt kobolds on one side and uh, blue shirts on the, on another. Or mix them up like this, but make the blue shirts uh, Make it so that the blue shirt kobolds had to... Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Had like the red circles underneath of them naturally, so that you can, uh, so that you'll know the difference between mobs that are neutral and won't pay attention to you, and the other ones that are red, that are, highlight, that are highlighted red and will attack on sight. So, just so, something that'll be like a brief introduction into it, like the aggro mechanics. But it's not a big break, but it's something to uh, keep in mind for the future. Probably gonna get to level eight or ten, depending on the leveling speed, and call it there. But so far, it's a good nostalgic experience if you like older games like this or the play World of Warcraft. So far, it's good. There's a few tweaks here and there. 
to let you know that it's uh, not your regular World of Warcraft, I guess would be the best way to describe the experience. As far as like the vanilla experience is concerned. But the world, the initial thoughts on the world, it feels good, just like a vanilla experience. But I haven't even gotten into uh, talents yet. So, depending on the speed of my leveling, we're going to check. Uh, I would like to at least take a closer look at what's in this game because it's supposed to be different from vanilla. So that might take about maybe an hour, maybe two, depending on um, my memory, <laughs> uh, how to complete the how to complete Greetings. the quests and whatnot. But I mean, so far. How are you? So far, so good. Well met. Yeah, full to complete. Light be with you. For the Alliance. Not a cobalt laborer. Are in the cave, if I remember it. Here. So you'll see this little, well, I call it a cave, but it's really a mine shaft and it's really blinking the eyes. slowly but surely. Now, one of the strongest up front damaging uh, abilities that I remember in the Warlock, even from back in the day, was always their Shadow Sword. And Shadow Bolt spam builds, even during Burning. So, the only time that that kind of changed was. I 
I would like to say it's starting to change in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Because they really wanted you to focus on uh, doing fire damage or having the option to do fire damage as a warlock. So, that was pretty cool. Also, they brought in the uh, freaking soldiers. When you're uh, When you join parties like that, it's usually to help somebody out or they're helping you out, so no need to be kind of a jerk about anything. Just, uh... Just kind of sort of just let on, you know, help them out if they mean well. And if they don't, you know what you do. You know how you handle yourself when you're surrounded by somebody you don't like. Greetings. Careful. Still didn't do the other stuff. Good day to you. way to talk to this lady too, but I guess we didn't earn that right yet. So what I'm gonna do is start killing all the freaking thug away before I go on my murderous rampage. But how to hurt a guy. What can I do for you? Sell our access freaking stuff. What can I do for you? Go for our training. Get corruption. Shadow. Life. Now we can also do cursor things, but it really, really, you don't. You don't need Now what I like to do is put my dots and vanishing abilities there, my utility somewhere close by, but I don't think I'm going to use cursing, so I'm going to be honest. 
Can did this level up automatically? No, it did not. So as you see here, freaking uh, level two abilities are stronger than that. Still be charging. <laughs> Surely we're making our way to where we all need to be. Now we gotta be careful about the patrols in this area because like two of them is a problem. Three of them you're pretty much overwhelmed. sure that I can pull this off, but Just in case you never did this uh, Warlock quest before, this is where you get the tome from for your quest. Now, we can kill our way back out and go on about this. It's actually a disease. Yeah. Corruption is actually a disease. I like that. That the dead That's actually a good change. That's actually a really good change. Far away. Changes because corruption 
was a magical, uh, was a magical debuff for me. Hello. Have a good one. Can I help you? Safe travels. No, with the completion of that collection of the Fremont Tome, we have now summon, summon M. Which is a decent update. Hello. See you later. How are you? Safe travel. What can I do for you? something have a good one what I'll probably wind up doing is uh, trying to rope if this is any if this part of the experience is any good But gonna have to wait and see. That's way too freaking far in the future for me to call it my right here. That's still recharging. Ha! <laughs> Oh! 
It's too far away. One of the best things to do is to try to get a wall early on. But it's hard to farm for you probably have to uh, get it from the auction house. But I will say this. If they follow up the diagram of what we're doing, they probably have a way for you to make it yourself. Surrounded by hoodlums. We're good. Hello. So, all in all, this has a nice nostalgic feel, a slower pace to everything. And Good day to you. Because of the limited resources, of course, it's going to forces you to think. See you around. Not like make the best choices, because that's still, of course, up to you. But it forces you to go, hmm, is this the really the right choice? So, very, very good gameplay. They kind of hey nerfed the safe travels. In my opinion, they kind of nerfed the. The life cap because I remember it being more than a one-to-one -one ratio for for uh, life being converted into mana, and that you don't uh, like even though that there was no cooldown with it. I'm fine with the cooldown. On such. A See thing, you later. But 25 
it, it, it needs to be juiced up some more because you got a hundred, you got a hundred and some odd health, okay? But look at your mana pool. Your mana pool is 293. I know this is rank one, but I, I remember it being a lot more powerful. Like warlocks were gimped when it came to their mana or when it came to their mana pool from my memory because they didn't have the extensive mana pool. They had an extensive freaking health pool. So I supply only the finest goods. So big difference there. I know it's like me bitching and griping about it, but I guess my memories are more tailored towards what you'll find during end game than Have a good one. anything else. Hmm. But all in all. Level 7, almost level 8, while heading out the starter area. Feels like, it feels like good pacing if you did all the, um, storyline. It looked to be about good day to you. 40 minutes to an hour worth of work. I'm sure somebody can break it down to 30 minutes if they're familiar with everything and running at full speed. See you around. Mm. So, it seems to be, it seems to be okay. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but It needs just some fine tuning from what I uh, from what I feel because they got majority of the feel for the original game right. They added their own flavor to it, which is not bad by no means. What they have here is not bad at all. But it feels like it's missing. Light be with you. Something. Alliance. Go with honor, friend. It feels like it's missing something. Hello. It's hard to put my finger on it. See you but later. The level games, the, the level games seem to be in such a way where you don't outpace the area. Safe travel. You will want to freaking enjoy the adventure and go on your quest. King's so. honor, friend. Light bless you. It feels good for a starter experience. And again, very nostalgic. Easy. Hey there. You know, if I if it was late enough, I wouldn't mind sitting right here, sipping on a beer good day while to you. I do all of this. Have a good one. It really, wouldn't be a problem. Things on her friend.
Now, warlocks usually hang out either upstairs or downstairs. Whoa! Well met. Look at what the cat dragged. Greetings. Curse of Agony. Bam. Fear. Need help? Next little bit is going to be freaking the fire bolt and the blood pack for the. Be team. careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Going to power him up some because this is. 9 to 12 right now. It could be 20 later. Hold on. Can I help you? Hey there. And blueberry and the blueberry the freaking void walker himself is going to be freaking pretty good. But as I you? hold for right now in this area, I'm going uh, to come back later on, either tonight or See you later. anytime this week to this uh, part of the game. They made some interesting changes to it. I like it. Um, shoot. Let me equip the agony. Get rid of that. And definitely want fear. Now, these primary abilities are going to be gold to me. But as it stands right now, I mean, this is pretty good. I haven't bumped into any freaking game breaking issues. No crashes. It took a little bit of a while to download and get started and patch everything up. Um what's the other what's the other thing? Like every everything that I'm experiencing with this so far is just really, really, really great nostalgic feels with uh, some quality of life improvements. So I'm really happy that they like made corruption uh, made corruption instead of magic a disease. That makes sense. Uh, Curse of Agony is still an instant cast curse, which is great. It really fits the Warlock's character. Because they're not really focused on, on like, regular magic too much, so. The next thing is to unlock the talent trees and to take a deeper look into what's in game. I'm going to do that next time. And shoot, man. If you like this type of content, just let me know. Shoot me a couple of uh, messages on my socials that are listed down below. And remember, take care of yourselves and have a good time. Stay savage. Ladies. Gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.